For lab 28, we're actually gonna test another amino acid, in this case, cysteine. So what we have are TSI tubes, in this case, triple sugar iron, TSI, in which we will inoculate it by stabbing it using a standard needle, and we will look at it anywhere between 48 to about 96 hours, and what we're looking for here is for an organism for its ability to use cysteine, remove a sulfur group, and turn it into hydrogen sulfide. Here in this case, these tubes turn black when it's positive for hydrogen sulfide. And so we'll look for these dark colors associated with them. And then often also, if the actual tube changes in color, we can see fermentation of other carbohydrates present. In addition to that, since it is fermenting, it can produce gas. And typically what will happen present in these tubes is you'll start seeing either the actual media lift off from the bottom, or you'll start seeing cracks amongst the, the slant itself, indicating that gas pockets built up and started destroying the media. So to test our organisms, we will inoculate, give it up for a couple of days, and see if it turns black, if it produces gas, or if it changes in color. Laboratory 28, which is the production of hydrogen sulfide, is testing the ability of an organism to remove sulfur from a cysteine amino acid. So we use these tubes called TSIs, or triple sugar iron auger, which are this brownish golden color, and we will actually stab it through the middle using a needle inoculum, and as it exits, we usually will coat the slant itself. After, in this case, 24 to up to 96 hours, in this case, we will look at the presence of color changes, the presence for gas, and any type of fermentation. So what we look for specifically is if we have no change, it is negative for that particular test. If we see black colors, this is the production of hydrogen sulfide, in other words, positive for the removal of sulfur from cysteine. And at times, what we're also looking for is the presence of gas. So usually you will see bubbles or cracks present within the media. Often, sometimes the butt of the tube can actually be lifted as confirmation of gas.